successful entrepreneur to be or not to be has never been the question rather every other online store owner wants to be a successful entrepreneur at the end of the day with this hello and a very warm welcome to each one of our webinar attendees this is shruti your moderator for today's live webinar session conducted by none other than set commerce on the topic how to sell at walmart well, I really hope it turns out to be a successful and very helpful webinar session for all you guys out there. And hey, we won't let, leave anyone barehanded. As promised, we do have a special surprise for all our attendees today, which will be revealed in the slides to come. As a matter of fact, it gives me immense pleasure in stating that Walmart being the official channel being that set commerce being the official channel integration partner of Walmart was recently listed among the top 500 Asian companies by the Lloyd Epac Technologies, which was indeed a great achievement for us. Set commerce being a unicorn in the e-commerce industry provides integration to different marketplaces on all frameworks. Well, when speaking about set commerce, it automatically leads me to this another very good news for all of you out there. Yes, leading with the motto of save money and live better, the giant marketplace Walmart moved a step ahead its prime competitor, Amazon. When it teamed up with this Japanese e-commerce company named Rakuten in order to improve its businesses with Asian nations. Well, that was a massive step by Walmart. Well, that was a brief on Walmart. And I once again like to welcome everyone since I can see few new people joining us at the moment. Welcome attendees. I hope you really have a great, great session with us. Well, moving ahead with today's live webinar session, I feel it would be a great idea to brief you about your tool of the day. Of course, we don't expect you to sit throughout and get bored like anything. Instead, you must let us know your responses by following in your answers via the chat boxes provided on your screens. And hey, when it's about polls, there has to be some mandatory question answers, isn't it? And well, to answer the same, we do have a set of expert panels sitting here with us to solve all your queries. Of course, we look forward to a tremendous number of questions from your side. And as said, it is a live webinar session. Our experts will be answering the questions instantly. However, don't lose heart if we miss out anything. For we will hold the webinar for another five minutes before we bind up the session today. I would like to repeat, we'll hold the webinar for another five minutes before binding up today's session. So we would certainly clear all your doubts then, and we would also send you the answers via mails personally. Last but never the least, we'll provide you the handouts which can be downloaded during the webinar. Well, our handouts would cover portions such as how to rank up your products at walmart.com, which products should you avoid to sell at Walmart, etc. Well, as said, a set of expert panels sits with us. I will quickly introduce you with our speakers for the day. So in row, we have Akash, our business manager, our business program manager, followed by Neha, our business analyst, led by Akanksha, our content strategist, and last but never the least, yes, guys, that's me, Shruti Diwari, your business communications executor. Welcome speakers. I hope our audiences have a good time with you. Well, aim, goals, and life. Probably our next slide deals with the same. When I remember this beautiful saying as a line with a life without an aim is just as a ship sailing without its destination. So keeping the destination in mind, let us quickly have a look on our today's agenda. I'm sure our set of expert panel will help you know more about Walmart and its related benefits, followed by some effective measures for why should you sell at Walmart. And yes, we do look forward to solving your most common queries, considering the same one of our major portions would cover answer answering general frequently asked questions. 
Again, very last but not the least point, we'll also let you know the probable reasons for why should you opt for an API provider to sell at Walmart. So guys, are we ready to begin the super exciting session of our webinar? Well, 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 give me a thumbs up in that case. And please enter the initial letters of your name. Well, in my case, it's in yes. Yes, it's a S. For example, as my name goes up, Shruti is for S. So I request you all to give me the initial letters of your name. Okay, I can see the majority of A's, B. Okay, so welcome, Barry. Welcome, Sue. And hey, Ankit, welcome, welcome, Gaurav. Okay, welcome Shubham again. So we are now proceeding with our webinar. And with this, I will now hand over our session to our content strategist, that is Akansha Singh. Over to you, Akansha. Hope you guys actually enjoy knowing the benefits of, of Walmart. Thank you, Shruti. Our listeners will surely have an informative session today. Recently, the NRF event conducted in New York created a lot of buzz. Walmart was there too, alongside tech giants like Microsoft and IBM. It was there with the intent to educate retailers to sell on its e-commerce platform or Jet.com, which I'm sure is a great news for all the sellers out there, seeking an opportunity to sell on Walmart.com. As you guys have been briefed well about the agenda for this webinar, it's time we begin with our session. Starting with the very basics, let's get started with talking about Walmart a little. Walmart.com is very similar to any multipurpose store that we commonly see, yet at the same time, it is very different too. Now, as you all can see on your screens, we have listed for you some interesting figures about Walmart. All this could only be possible with a great selection of products, excellent services, and of course, low prices. Founded in the year 2000, Walmart.com is a subsidiary of Walmart stores. Walmart.com aims to provide easy access to customers, which is clearly evident in the fact that despite having more than 1 million products online, customers are still given the convenience of placing online orders and then picking them up at a local Walmart store. Data supports the fact that in at least six years, Walmart has moved up to become the number three online seller in US in 2017, behind only Amazon and eBay. And that is huge, guys. To say the least, Walmart.com has opened doors for sellers that have customers' favorite products and offer low prices, so that Walmart.com can guarantee its customers a great online shopping experience. I know everyone here sits in anticipation of knowing the process to become a seller on Walmart.com. Be rest assured, we are coming to that in a couple of minutes. But before that, we will try to understand a little as to why should you even opt for this e-commerce platform? There are many to choose from. The answer to this lies in the fact that selling on Walmart.com means offering your products to 110 million unique visitors. Yes, I'm right, 110 million unique visitors. Since a decade now, Walmart has begun welcoming third-party sellers on its platform. Consumers already use Walmart.com to purchase everyday FMCG products, household goods, food, and whatnot. Selling your products with this assortment helps you cater to the massive user base. Talking about the three key advantages of becoming a seller on Walmart, I would say that primary is Walmart's user base. Getting to showcase your product to so many people is obviously bound to increase your sales and will improve your conversion rates. Secondly, the fact that you pay only when you begin your sale is no less attractive. Walmart charges third-party sellers a commission per sale added to the cost of shipping. While Walmart will handle payments and processing for you, the commissions will vary based on the product category. And like other com competitors, it hovers around 15%. Thirdly, you can leverage upon the brand value of Walmart. Having said that, I believe now your apprehensions about selling on Walmart.com might have been solved. Over to you, Shruti. 
Thank you, Akanksha, for sharing such useful facts and figures with us. I hope it actually helped our attendees. Guys, please let us know your responses to the polls on your screens, which would be popping up any moment. Also, let us know, do know if you're already selling at Walmart or looking forward to sell at Walmart by answering the questions in the QA sections. Well, in the meanwhile, I would now like the session to be handed over to our business analyst, none other than Neha Singh, who would guide us about some effective measures regarding how to sell at Walmart. Over to you, Neha. Thanks, Shruti. Hey guys, I'm Neha as Shruti has already introduced me, but I would like to introduce myself again. I'm business analyst from Set Commerce, and most of you are aware from me because I am in regular contact with all of you. Well, I hope you guys are aware about that. How can you list your products on some marketplace? But yes, if we are talking about Walmart, then I will like to inform you that apart from having an online store, you must meet some specific criteria and only then you would be eligible to sell on Walmart. Don't worry, it is not so much typical as you are thinking. You just need to follow a procedure and then you will definitely be eligible person to sell on Walmart. Walmart has provided a seller form in which you have to fulfill your details completely. You have to complete this form and submit it to Walmart. Walmart will review your form and after complete analysis, if they will find you the eligible one, you can sell on Walmart and so you can go ahead. Now, if you are going to sell on Walmart, you may have some concern or I can say if you are selling on Walmart, you still have some concern about your products, orders and so many things. For this and for resolving all your queries, we all are here today. The very basic concern that what are the basic requirements to get approved from Walmart? Well, you all know that Walmart is a big marketplace so that analyze your catalog. They will analyze your catalog when you are going to sell on Walmart. They will analyze your SKUs. They will analyze your brand that what are you selling and definitely your online selling performance matters much. These three things are mandatory. And if you are going to sell on Walmart, Walmart will review all these three things. Apart from this, you must have a warehouse in US only and only then you will uh, you will be the eligible person to sell on Walmart. If you are selling something like which is not allowed to sell on Walmart, you cannot list your products on Walmart. Once again, you have to see this that what you are selling and does Walmart allow this to sell on that place or not. The second concern is selling on Jet and Walmart is same. Jet is acquired by Walmart in August 2016 and it might be you all are aware with this and it can be also possible that most of you thinks that selling on Jet and Walmart is same but I would like to clear this point that it is totally different. Let's take a look on some points. The first one in comparison of Jet Walmart is a big marketplace and Walmart has provided so many categories so that you can list your brands. It means don't worry about the category of your products. Definitely you will list all type of your products if they are in the authorized category of Walmart. The second one is price policy of Jet. If you are selling on Jet, then you are aware of this, that Jet works on low price policy. It means you cannot raise your price than your competitor. It is also called low price policy rule. And I hope that all guys you are selling on Jet must be aware of this. Again, I'm saying that. And if we talk about Walmart, there is no concept like this. Instead of that, they work on best marketplace price. They have the concept of buy box and definitely I will again introduce this concept of buy box in upcoming slides. The third thing, if we talk about listing products in Jet, then you have to provide MPN, ASIN or barcode in the name of identifier to your products. But if you are selling on Walmart, you must have to provide barcode to sell your products. You cannot provide MPN, ASIN or such other identifiers. The fourth point, there are various shipping methods in Walmart like standard, expedited, etc. And by default, Walmart offers you free shipping method. But there is no such concept in Jet.com. So guys, after explaining all these points, I hope you might have understand the difference between selling on Jet and Walmart. Now. 
if you are going to list your products on walmart you must have some concern about the commission rates as walmart is a big marketplace or you can say biggest marketplace of us so if we talk about commission rates walmart has provided various commission rates for various categories of products like for food and grocery the commission rate is 15% and for the jewelry the commission rate is 20% i would like to share information with you that effective january 8 2018 the commission rate for all items under the tools and home improvement category has changed to 15% prior to uh, prior to this change the category's commission rate was 12% well i hope you all are clear with these doubts they were in your mind that's from my side over to you shruti thank you neha that was actually informative i'm sure our listeners got to know the effective measures regarding how to sell at walmart and in the meanwhile i would like to remind everyone that few of our handouts have already been shared which can be downloaded at any moment any time yes few of our handouts regarding how to rank up your product regarding the products that would lead to unpublishment of your walmart category sessions are already been have already been shared to you in the handout section and you can download them any moment well as they say don't be afraid of failures for you only have to be right once so in order to deprive all your chances of reaching this stage of failure i request our business experts akash and neha to cover up some frequently asked questions and clear all your doubts over to you guys thank you shruti once again guys you are selling on walmart or might of might be there that some of you are going to sell on walmart so it is basic that you have some concern about walmart so and we also have so many clients who generally ask some faqs regarding walmart or anything so to resolve all your queries we have mentioned some faqs here frequently asked question and we will tell you everything one by one i i am saying that if you have some other concern you can type us here now the first question what is the procedure to sell on walmart or how can you start to sell on walmart or how can you get a seller panel from walmart as we all know that walmart is a one of the biggest marketplace so definitely if you want to sell some products on walmart you need to go through a process already told you that walmart provides a form to all seller who wants to sell on walmart when a seller submit all his details in it walmart review it and after complete analysis of your shop they will allow you to sell if we talk about seller panel that how can you get a seller panel from walmart when definitely if you are using an api provider if you are using an api medium and that one is the trusted partner of walmart they will definitely help you to get a seller panel from walmart so it is recommended by me that if you are going to choose an api provider just choose those who are the trusted partner of walmart now moving ahead if we talk about the products yes you are going to list your products on walmart so what could be the best products to sell on walmart or what could be the unauthorized category of products that cannot be sell on walmart to explain all these things i have akash with me and he will explain you all those things over to you akash thank you for the lovely introduction shruti and neha well i would like to move ahead with this about the best products you must be considering the fact that what are the best products which can be sold at walmart well if you are a customer then you will get almost everything to buy from walmart and of course in terms of seller you can sell all the authorized category of products like grocery apparel fashion jewelry etc but yes if we talk about the best category no doubt apparels are the most famous and the most sold category on walmart well if you are selling with apparels then you will surely earn a good amount of revenue well not talking about the unauthorized categories which should not be sold on walmart like so many other market places walmart also has some restricted category of products like weapon alcoholic products well it simply means that those products which are not creating a positive impact on the society need not to be sold on walmart well personally i don't consider the fact that alcohol is not creating a positive impact on the society well apart from the jokes walmart has banned some brands in some categories like if we talk about the electronic category Walmart has banned Canon brand so if you want to purchase any products from Canon you cannot get it from Walmart well as a simple solution Walmart has provided a complete list for such products so you can have a look over that in your seller panel 
Now moving ahead with the how to rank up my products. I would like Neha to assist you over this. Thank you, Akash. Guys, you are listing your products on Walmart or you are going to list your products on Walmart. So it is the basic concern of a customer that how can they rank up their product on Walmart? Because as you all know that I am again saying Walmart is the biggest marketplace and the competition is full of big giants and you need to prepare yourself accordingly. Well, let's understand this by taking an example. Suppose a customer is searching some beauty products. If you are selling some beauty products, then it must appear in the search section. Then what you need, what you need to be done? Well, here are a few points and I'm explaining one by one. The first one is your product must map in the correct category. It means, yes, if you are selling some beauty product and you are mapping it in like grocery or apparel category, your product will be never appear, appear in search. The second one, title of your product. Yes, it should be according to your products. What you are going to sell, it must be according to that. Image. One image speak thousand words. And yes, it is true. The more effective image you will provide, the more impact would be created. Actually, Walmart has some criteria like you have to provide image of square dimension. You can say 1500 cross 1500, 1000 cross 1000 and so on. Description of the products contain all the necessary features of your product so that your customer would attract to your product and so on. And last but not the least, the price of your product. Yes, it should be according to marketplace price. If we are working the points I have mentioned, then you don't need to be worried. Your products will definitely rank up high. Now you are listing your products. And yes, there are so many questions regarding identifiers that what are the identifiers or sometimes our client asked us that why their products are not, not going to be listed on Walmart or not going to be uploaded on Walmart. Well, because of identifiers. Identifiers plays a great role to sell your products in some marketplace. With the help of an identifier, you introduce your product on global level. Not only this, an identifier of your product contains all the necessary information related to your product. You will need a barcode to sell your products on Walmart. Apart from barcode, Walmart does not allow any other identifier to sell your products. You can give UPC, GTIN, etc. And yes, one more thing. If you are selling jewelry product, then you don't need to provide anything as an identifier to your products. Just create a case from your seller panel that yes, you are selling jewelry product. Walmart will review your case and after their permission, you are the eligible one to list your jewelry product without any identifier. You can provide one more thing, very important thing that you can provide the same barcode which is used by some other seller who is selling the same product like yours. But never try to provide that barcode who belongs, which belongs to some other category. It means you cannot provide the barcode of food in the category of, you can say jewelry, appearance or anything. It must be according to the category. Now, as I say, price matters much on Walmart. So I would like to clear a very important concept that is promotional pricing. And for this, I would like to call Akash. He will explain you everything. Over to you, Akash. Well, Walmart has its own policy about the price of your products. So your price should be according to the best marketplace. Otherwise, Walmart can unpublish your products. Well, it basically means that whenever you upload a product, Walmart compares the price with the competitors who are available. Then if the price is viable, then the product will be published. Else the product will be unpublished. So if you want to sell your products on some special price, you need to use a promotional price feature which is available in our app and also in our extensions in which you have to inform Walmart why you are using such prices for your particular products. Now talking about promotional pricing comes the thought of unpublished products. Well, yes, products can be unpublished mainly because of three reasons. Firstly, when the price is too high. Well, yes, price matters a lot on Walmart. If your product price is not according to the best marketplace, price or your products will go under the unauthorized categories. Secondly, when the offer end date has passed, well, yes, if the offer end date of your particular product has been passed, then the wall, then your product will go under the unpublished product category. Now, lastly about the unauthorized categories, as I have already told you, 
that if you are selling the unauthorized products which are not allowed to be sold on Walmart, then your products will fall under unpublished products. Now moving ahead with the section of tax, can FBA be used to sell on Walmart? Well guys, we are holding a webinar for how to sell on Walmart and we are talking about FBA. So it's a complete big no as you know that FBA is fulfillment by Amazon and Walmart and Amazon are the biggest rivals against each other. Hence, Walmart does not allow you to use FBA. Yes, of course, you can use ShipStation, ShipWorks, etc. to ship your products. I would also like to tell that we are the official channel partners for ShipStation. So you can go ahead and create account for that and manage shipping with a very easy process. Now to sync your store with Walmart. Well, basically for this, I have Neha. She will assist you on this. Over to you, Neha. Thank you, Akash. Now, the biggest task, syncing. If you are selling your products to your Magento or Shopify store and also on Walmart, then it is very essential that your products, orders and inventory work on real-time scenario. You can list your products on Walmart through your seller panel, but if you want to sync your order on your Shopify store, then you have to use an API medium which will help you to sync your store with Walmart. Guys, as we all know that Walmart has provided a functionality or you can say a facility through which you can sell your products through your seller panel. But it works when you have a small catalog. Suppose you have a small catalog, then in this case, you can manage everything through your seller panel. You can list your products, you can ship your orders by using any shipping medium. But if you have a large catalog, then it is very tedious to manage everything. Like, just take an example, you have to ship an order or you can say you have to sync an order on your Shopify store and you cannot do this by using your seller panel. You have to use an API provider. An API provider not only help you to work on real time scenario, they will also help you to work on or you can say manage to your products, inventory or order. They will automate the thing so that you don't need to do much from your side. They will do everything. And yes, again, I'm saying if you are using an API provider, so try to choose that one who are the trusted partner of Walmart. Now, buy box. I have introduced this term earlier that what is buy box? Buy box is one of the important concept in Walmart as we have already discussed that price of your products matters much on Walmart. So let's take an example, suppose, if you are selling a product in $10 and your competitor is selling the same product in $5, in this case, you will lose the buy box. Don't think that it is only for high price. It is also allow, uh, available or you can say it is also for low price. Suppose if you are selling your products in $10 and your competitor is selling the same product in $14 and it is according to best marketplace price, then in this case, you will also lose the buy box. That simply means that Walmart has a criteria in which they fixed a best marketplace price and your product's price should be according to that. If you are not working on that, you will lose the buy box of, uh, for your product and definitely your product will go in unpublished category. So try to keep your price as per marketplace price. So guys, we have mentioned these FAQs and this is bind up from my side. So if you are having any doubt or if you have some other question that you want to ask from us, you can put down here. We will here to resolve all the queries. Over to you, Shruti. Thank you, Akash and Neha for sharing the most effective methods with our attendees. Well, uh, just now we have a question by Matt who asked up, uh, who put up some query and uh, Akash, our business program manager, would be answering the same. Well, Matt, currently this is not allowed on Walmart, but yes, if in future it does, we will surely let you know about this. Thank you for your great inputs, Matt. We surely look forward to this webinar. Over to you, Shruti. Thank you, Akash, and thank you, Matt. Well, uh, please let us know your feedbacks, guys, for it does matter a lot to us. And well, proceeding with the webinar, however, as they say, remember to celebrate milestones as you prepare for the road ahead. With this, I would now request Akash, our business program analyst, to, uh, to acknowledge us with the advantages of opting for an API integration and the major benefits of opting for an API integration with set commerce. Over to you, Akash. Thank you, Shruti, for this. 
Well, guys, as you are already aware that what are the ways on which we can sell at Walmart? Well, basically, there are two ways. Firstly, it's the marketplace seller panel way. And secondly, it's an API based integration way. Well, if I would like to talk in the layman's term, then one is a manual way. Second is an API based integration way. What you will do in a manual way is that you will log into your seller panel account, create thousands of products manually, then manage order inventory and price manually. But with an API based integration, what will happen? Every process will be automated. Your products will be uploaded within minutes. Orders, prices, inventory will be synchronized even within minutes by the help of cons. I have listed down few advantages over here. So I would like to take ahead and tell you about few advantages of using an API based integration over marketplace seller panel. Now, firstly, profile based product upload. Well, yes, guys, profiling or template. This is a very unique and a set commerce exclusive feature in our extension and app, which allows you to create different profiles for different types of products. Well, basically, a profile contains a similar type of products. Suppose that you are selling with three different types of products, electronics, clothing and shoes. So you can create different profile for each type of products. This basically means that if there will be three profiles, one for electronics, one for clothing and one for shoes. So it will be very easy for the management and for yourself too. This feature will be soon coming in on our Walmart Shopify app. Currently, it is having in our Magento WooCommerce and other extensions as well. Now moving ahead with the easy category mapping. You can map the category on the basis of profile. So you have the ability to choose among the different type of category and sell your products accordingly. You can select parent and child level category and then add your products accordingly. You can map the various categories which have been provided through API within your framework that is irrespective of Shopify, Magento, WooCommerce or any other framework. Now moving ahead with the profile based pricing. Well, yes, prices play a major role in Walmart and prices can be managed on the basis of profile. That is either you can increase or decrease the price by fixed price or by fixed percentage. So in this way, you can manage the prices for a bunch of similar type of products within a profile. This basically means that if you want a markup for electronics profile, then you will just go into the profile for electronics present a markup for 15 or 20 percent and you are good to go. All the prices will be updated accordingly. Now about the bulk upload. Well, yes, yes. If you are using the marketplace seller panel, then you must be considering the fact that how to create different type of products within a single click with the API based integration. You can do this too. You can upload thousands of products within minutes with just one click. If your product is a Walmart ready, then you just need to click on the upload button, use our bulk action and you are good to go. You can upload multiple products within just one click. Now about the cap on orders and products. Well, yes, our pricing plan is basically very simple. It's a one time payment plan or subscription basis. All you need to pay is just the extension piece for one time and then just sit back and relax and leave all the work for us. We will be installing the extension, configuring it up for you, testing it as a beta tester for your personal work. Now you can upload as much product as you want. Even you can fetch or ship as much orders as you want. I'm moving ahead with the shipment automation. Well, yes, guys, this is an set commerce exclusive feature. This feature makes our extension compatible for those sellers who are using Shipworks or ShipStation. Order details move directly from the Walmart marketplace to your Shipworks or ShipStation account so that shipping can be managed managed directly from that particular account. Since we are the official channel partner for ShipStation, so we ask you to manage shipping by the help of ShipStation. We have also provided you handouts related to this so you can go ahead and download them at your ease. Now moving ahead with the low stock notification. Well, whenever any product is about to get out of stock, which is selling good on Walmart, then the seller can see a particular notification of that particular product, which is about to get out of stock. So hence he can update the inventory accordingly, which will help them to not to lose any order or any new customer for the product, which was about to get out of stock. Now about the repricing. Well, yes, guys, this is an ultra advanced feature, which makes sure that you win the buy box for every product which is listed on Walmart. 
Well, yes, guys, it lets you choose among the different strategies which can be applied over price selection. It displays you the accurate results from Walmart on the basis of which you can choose whether you want to update the price or decrease the price. It fetches the products directly from the marketplace seller panel and list it down into your Shopify WooCommerce Magento panel and then you can manage the repricing accordingly. Now moving ahead with the easy debug mode. Well, yes, this mode enables and gives the power to have a look at what price he is sending to Walmart against each and every SKU. Whenever any product is uploaded, then there is an XML file created in your Shopify, Magento, or WooCommerce, or Presser Shop, irrespective of any framework, there is an XML file which is created in which we show proper price for inventory for each product uploaded. So this basically makes the seller as a developer and he can check what price, what inventory, what against which SKU he is sending to Walmart. So he can be sure that his prices and inventory are going correctly to Walmart. Now these were all the advantages. There are many more advantages which you can have a look at setcommerce.com. Well, for another thing which will be that the advantages for which you are using an API based integration by setcommerce. Currently, I have listed those advantages. I have listed those advantages by which you may use an API based integration by setcommerce. Now, I will quickly brief you regarding the features that we provide while integration. Firstly, it's 24 cross 7 support. Yes, we are the one of the few service provider that provide consistent support around the clock. We will always be available to assist you. Secondly, various communication channel to reach to us. We are available for seller support on various channel. You can connect us to at Skype, mail, online chat, Google Chrome remote desktop, also over the call, even with a team viewer session. One of the team member will always be available to assist you and resolving your queries. Now moving ahead with the dedicated account manager. Well, yes, once the any extension, which is a paid extension purchase from Walmart, once any, any paid extension, which is per, purchased from Walmart, then you get a dedicated account manager who will help you to install the app extension and you will be assigned a dedicated account manager who will be handling your account on your behalf and help you throughout the process. And moving ahead with the custom features. We offer custom features that result in a improved sales by helping you with the various aspects of the store. Speaking of the various aspects, next we enlist these under the broad categories of product management, order management, inventory management, price management, even real time syncing. But let me tell you about the real time syncing. We provide real time syncing of your store with the marketplace, which means that any changes done by you on the store will immediately be reflected on that particular marketplace. Low cost. Well, yes, our apps and extensions are available at very affordable cost. Provide complete solution to you. They provide the complete integration to you so that you may list the products directly to Walmart. Now, moving ahead with the offers. We come up with several offers throughout the year, which you can avail and grow your store to increase your sales. Even I have some offers for you just right now. Now about the stay updated feature. Well, yes, being the official channel integration partner for Walmart, we make sure that the client stay informed about the latest update of that market marketplace. That is Walmart. We publish regular blogs, newsletter and market watch stories just for Walmart. Well, even I have few offers for you. Now over your screen, you may see an offer which is a 10% off offer. You can use the coupon code webinar 10. I will repeat my words webinar 10. You can use the coupon code webinar 10. This offer is applicable on every product on set commerce. You can purchase anything from set commerce and you will get a 10% off on any product which you buy on set commerce. Well, now I will hand over the mic to Shruti. She will assist you further. It's a wrap from my side, guys. I'll see you in the other side of the webinar. Thank you. Well, that was actually informative. Thank you, Akash. Well, I would like to repeat some words of Akash. Use the webinar 10 coupon code in order to get access to your uh, free offer, of which would get lead you to the another 10% discount. Well, I have this bad habit of exploring into people. 
well actually i like exploring the interests of people so can i please know your favorite color guys well my being the queen of colors pink yes my being the queen of colors pink which is just being popped out at your screen well thank you lucifer i can see akanksha says it's blue okay let's see which color wins the race is it blue pink or pink okay pink is in majority can we have some inputs for from barry and sue okay uh, we don't see any input yet fine do let us know your favorite colors guys we have black blue okay that's the that, that's really great we have blue in the majority black is the king of colors i guess and pink being the pink the queen okay yes i will always support my favorite color that is pink anyways coming back to the webinar okay since uh, it's a great news that sitcomers recently came in the partnership with the giant logistics center ship station as it was already stated well i will now proceed the webinar and request our content strategist akanksha to brief you about the host for the day that is none other than sitcomers over to you akanksha who would lead us knowing about sitcomers Thank you, Shruti. Once again, I believe we all agree our experts today have been fairly successful in solving your frequently asked queries. They are still with us, though, and you can send across your questions any time during the webinar. Coming to speak of integration with Walmart, that can help you sync your store to the marketplace. It's time to introduce you to such commerce, which we, your speakers for the day, represent. We proudly state that Set Commerce is one of the leading e-commerce facilitators which can help your store integrate with marketplace. Set Commerce provides integration to more than 3500 clients across the world that sell seamlessly at top marketplaces via different frameworks. Now the fact that this feat was achieved all in a couple of years definitely speaks volumes about our dedication. Not only this, our clients have received more than a million orders and continue to grow. We have consistently worked towards solving client issues regarding sales and orders, and after exhaustive competitive analysis, have advised them on areas that require work. Our clients have been sold approximately 50 million plus of GMV through us, and we have assisted them by delivering quality services and helped them sell more and more. We are extremely proud to state that said commerce has been rated 4.5 in the e-commerce world, which shows that we hold credibility not only with our customers, but also in the e-commerce sector at large. An introduction to us cannot be complete without talking about our revert partners. We are related to announce our integration partnership with trusted brands like Walmart, Newegg, Sears, etc. Set Commerce has been named in the top 50 winners of Deloitte's most premium technology companies in Asia. We are constantly growing and preparing for other marketplace partnerships. We'd also like to inform you that we've been we've built apps and extensions which support product upload, inventory, price, and order management for marketplaces like Walmart, Sears, Bonanza, Amazon, etc. Would it be fair to close this session without mentioning our clients? Obviously not. We have a client base of more than 3,000 who are selling successfully on various marketplaces like Walmart, Jet, Wish, Frugo, Newegg, etc. Several clients have even chosen to start their journey as a seller with us, which is indeed a proud thing to state for us. Here are we. Here are a few of our clients, which we have enlisted for you. Clients like Ramjet, Swing Design used our integration to sell not only on one, but several marketplaces. Putting this case to rest, I'd like to call each one of you to shoot in your queries and have them answered by our experts. You may request a demo of our services either by dropping in your names and emails by reaching out to us on any of these channels. Over to you, Shruti. Thank you, Akansha, for lay laying down the beautiful journey of our host for the day, Set Commerce. We hope our attendees actually explored a lot of new facts. Well, guys, that was all from our side. However, as promised, 
earlier that we would pause the webinar for mm -hmm. next five minutes. So in the meanwhile, you can come up with your queries, which will be answered by our experts here. And yes, please feel free to contact us via Skype, email IDs, or you can call us directly on the contact details provided on your screen. So we are now resting the session on hold and we look forward to all your queries. There's a question by Himanshu. Is it mandatory to revenue 4G MV to be eligible to sell on Walmart? Well, Neha is here to give the answer. Hello, Himanshu. As you have asked that it is mandatory to have 0.4 million GMV to sell on Walmart. Well, sometimes it depends upon Walmart that uh, they are uh, they allow you to sell on Walmart with have with uh, with these revenue. Sometimes they will allow you to sell on Walmart. It depends on your products and your catalog. And for this, you have to contact Walmart from your side. Also, if you are using an API provider, they will definitely contact Walmart on your behalf to get approval for your account if you don't have such GMB. Okay, the next question that's been popped up is from Lata. Okay, we'll get to your question, Lata. The question is how competitor pricing is affecting? Okay, so we have Akash here to answer your query. Over to you, Akash. Okay, hi, Lata. Well, as far as I understand your question that your competitor pricing is affecting. Well, so for the competitor pricing, you can use a tool which is repricing. Well, this is an ultra advanced feature of set commerce. What this will basically do, this will fetch the product details, that is the price, directly from Walmart to your Shopify or Magento panel. It helps lets you choose among the different strategies which can be applied over price selection. It displays you the accurate results from marketplace seller panel to your Shopify store. On the basis of which you can choose whether you want to update the price or decrease the price. I hope you, I have answered your question, Lata. Thank you, Akash. Okay, can, do, you, do we have another set of questions from anyone? Anyone there asking for any query? Okay, we have Matt here. Is there any way to group like products in the same listing? Basically, his products are same, just different colors. If they click on one, he would like the ability to show them all the other colors on the same page. Is this uh, this is possible in Amazon? Okay, he's asking, can Walmart do the same feature? Okay, we'll get to it very shortly. Thank you, Himanshu. Hello, Matt. Well, yes, is there a way to group like products in the same listing? Basically, my products are the same, just different color. If they click on one, I would like to, the ability to show them all the other colors on the same page. This is possible in Amazon. Can Walmart do it? Well, yes, you have a valid question. Well, I would really like to assist you on this. Well, on Walmart, you can just upload two different types of products. Firstly, it's a simple product. Then secondly, it's a group product. Oh, sorry, it's a con configurable product. If you are uploading a configurable product based on the attributes, you can choose different attributes like colors, size or material. So you can upload a configurable product on Walmart, but not a group or bundle or downloadable product. I hope I have assisted you on this. Over to you, Shruti. Thank you, Akash. I hope Matt is now clear with this question. Uh, do we have any other question from anyone? Okay, Matt, Barry, anyone? Himanshu, Gaurav, anyone, if we have any question. Okay, since the session, okay, Lata has a question. Yeah, sure, Lata, please put up a question. Yeah, sure, we look forward to your, to your queries. Thanks for the enthusiastic support, guys. Keep popping up such questions. We love to see your support in us. Okay, what is your query, Lata? Okay, we have a question from Abhishek. Can we upload product on walmart.com without tax code? Yes, Abhishek. I would like to tell you that you cannot upload your product without tax code. Tax code is mandatory to provide on Walmart. You have to provide tax code so that your products can be uploaded on Walmart. Lata, we are waiting for your question. Can we have one? Is there any other attendee with any kind of query? 
Okay, or we or we'll give you two minutes more, guys. We look forward to questions. Once again, I would like to remind that to use the uh, coupon code webinar10 and get the exclusive products from our marketplace that is set commerce. Okay, there's a question from Lata and Neha will be answering it. Okay, Lata, you have written that what is the process when sometimes products are not shown in field orders? Actually, I'm not getting your question properly. I want a proper question from your side. Till then, I have Himanshu with us again, and Akash is there to resolve his question. Hello, Himanshu. Well, I am Akash, business program manager at Set Commerce. Well, your question is my products are not having barcodes. If I can still sell on Walmart, well, I'm afraid to say that you cannot, but in with a restriction that you can sell jewelry on Walmart without barcode, but other than that, but other than that, you can contact Walmart. If they allow you, then you can do so. But as far as our end, we cannot allow you to upload products on Walmart without the barcodes. But Lata, we are still waiting for your question to be clarified. Can you please state the question once again? I hope I have answered your question, Himanshu. Hey, thank you for your input, Lata. I will surely we look forward to your mail. And okay, there's a question from Sue. He already has a Walmart Marketplace integration API in Shopify. Okay, he's asking, does he needs to sync it, it, it to set commerce app? In, hey, Sue, you have written that you have Walmart Marketplace integration app. Yes, it is from set commerce. We are providing that integration app. And you have written that you need to get a set commerce app. Actually, Walmart Marketplace integration app is a is from us is from set commerce so if you have question regarding the app you can ask us here right now okay ma have some questions or some queries regarding promotional pricing okay guys i would just like to say one thing if in case we're not able to so solve all your queries here during the webinar we assure you we we'll provide you your uh, your queries so the solutions via email and okay uh, right now Neha is here to answer your question and if in case we miss out uh, answering out or you feel that your answer the solutions are not up to the mark we'll surely mail you the answers Actually, we have two guys here, Matt and Lata. So first of all, Lata, I would like to say that the uh, the webinar is for Walmart. So it would be better if we say something about Walmart. Well, as you have asked me about other marketplaces, yes, we have so many other marketplaces where you can upload your products and sell. And for this, I will shortly update you through me. Thank you. Matt. You have said that you have issues with promotional pricing. I hope that you are selling through Walmart Marketplace Integration app. If yes, then you can use promotional pricing through app. If you are not using our app, then in this case, I would like to recommend you to use our app because we have provided a functionality promotional pricing in our app. And you have to do this. You can go to edit section of the app. And from there, you can set up promotional pricing. I would like to introduce promotional pricing again. Whenever you are creating a product on your seller panel, Walmart has Walmart has provided an, a, uh, sorry, promotional pricing is something like that. If you want to sell your product on some special price, like as I told you earlier that Walmart has his own concept about your pro about the product's price, but you can think that it is your product. So you can put any price for your product. Like the best marketplace price of your product is $10 and you want to sell it in $5. For this, if you are increasing or decreasing your price again and again, Walmart will definitely unpublish your product. So you can use promotional pricing for this. Promotional pr pricing basically tells Walmart that you are using the particular price for your product because of some reason. There are two reasons you can, uh, you can use. The first one is you can show that you have to uh, that you have to finish the stock of your catalog. The second one is you want to show some offer so that these are the two ways 
to use promotional pricing again i am repeating promotional pricing is basically just a concept to sell your products on some particular price on a fixed uh, on price which is not according to marketplace so that your products will not get in unpublished category i hope you got my point if you have any other question you can put down it here Okay, guys. So we are about to end this webinar right now. Uh, well, Shruti, you may end the webinar. Okay. Thank you for input, guys. It actually matters a lot to us. Well, your patience and time really mattered a lot to us. That was all from our side, and wish you success throughout. And hope to see you pretty soon. As said, success occurs when your dreams are bigger than your excuses. Well, so let. Our excuses aside, and make the world a better place to live. Thank you, and with this, we are binding up today's webinar session. Hope you had a lovely time with us. Thank you, guys.